Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be playing with new makeup. Um, I've just gotten into PR lately and I haven't really played with it. So I definitely want to play with some stuff. Probably some stuff that you have been seeing lately. Um, I definitely want to try a lot of these things. So I'm really glad that I get to sit down and use a bunch of them in a video. Um, so I'm just going to kind of do like a get ready with me and just going to chill and play with makeup and put some stuff on. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into a tutorial. I just recently got sent the new, I don't know if these are new or not, but foundations by Ofra. Um, these definitely oxidize like crazy. I've never seen a foundation oxidize so much. Um, definitely way more than Fenty, but the good thing is that it oxidizes, it oxidizes very quickly. So you kind of know like right away if it's going to be your shade or not. Um, so let's just like kind of go through and swatch some. Um, I'll kind of show you guys the difference, um, the oxidization. Um, so this is the lightest shade they sent me. I've already swatched these, but I don't remember which one was my match. Um, so like this one is probably my match. I know it's one of the lightest too. And it's crazy how this darkens so much, <laughs> almost to like my skin color. So let's just kind of like let this sit for a second. My boyfriend also uses foundation and he said it's not full coverage. They claim it's full coverage. I've seen it too. It's not that full coverage, but I'm definitely going to try it out today. I want to at least try it. This one's getting darker as you can see, literally by the minute. Oh my gosh, it's crazy how much, see how much that oxidized already. Shit. Okay, see, look, watch. This one looks like in the bottle, and there it is. So crazy, the difference. Very misleading, though. Like, I gotta say, that's very hard, especially online, to buy a foundation like this. Okay, actually, I'm gonna do one more. Let's see if it's my right undertone. This one's more yellow, actually. This one's way more orange. This one's more like a greenish yellow. Okay, so I'm actually going to mix these two together, not this one. Just mix the two together. Let's see how this looks. And let's see if this is full coverage. It claimed it's full coverage, so I don't know. I just tried soap brows for the first time right here, right now, before I filmed. So I don't have my brows filled in at all. There's nothing in them. Um, I just did the soap bra, which is where you take a spoolie um, and a bra and a bar of soap, like hand soap. Get it a little damp, rub it together in a spoolie, and then you just brush it through your brows, and it's supposed to act like a glue, like a really, really good like brow setter. And it totally like, brushes them up and makes them look bushy. And it definitely works. I kind of just like pushed them down a bit with the foundation, but that's okay. I really like it. Okay, so the foundation in person definitely not full coverage. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it could look way better, especially right here. I have a lot of red, more redness. You can't see it as much in camera. It looks really good on camera, but in person, it's a little, a little patchy. Um, it looks a little dry, and it's not really covering my redness around my nose. But overall, on camera, it looks pretty. I don't mind it on camera at all. All right, foundation's on. Let's go ahead and move on to concealer. All right, I don't have any new concealers that I haven't tried lately. Um, so I'm just gonna head with my favorite concealer, the Jouer one, um, the Essential High Coverage Concealer. Um, I'm gonna use this actually because of the, con the foundation isn't the most full coverage, so I do want a little bit more coverage. So let's go ahead and pop this one. If you guys are looking for a concealer, you guys haven't found one yet that you really like, if you like good coverage, this this concealer, man, this concealer does it all. Literally, it's so good. Oh my gosh. And the foundation, actually. The foundation's really good, too. Don't sleep on Jouer. Their skin products are amazing. Oh my gosh. Am I running out of this concealer? I'm like, there's not that much on here. I'm running out of this shade. If you guys are curious about the shade, this is Cream Cafe. I don't normally put shades on because that doesn't really pertain to anyone else um, because you can't really tell my skin tone over camera. So I don't really put shades unless it's like a lip or an eyeshadow or something like that. Oh, so pretty. 
I love concealer. So I would say skin is my favorite part of my makeup routine, definitely. I definitely recommend a beauty blender for this concealer, because it's a little bit thicker and a little bit matte, so a beauty blender is probably the best way to blend out concealer in general, like every concealer and foundation. I love a beauty blender. I actually used to never use them, I never used to like them, but now I can't go back to brushes. I'm stuck on a beetle blender. I do not like beetle blenders though to blend out contour. Definitely not. Everything else. Time to contour. Right now we're going to use the Huda Beauty Tantor Cream and Bronzer. Um, Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. I said that wrong. Um, so here's what it looks like. I'm going to be using shade light. Actually, no, I need fair. I'll be using shade fair. Uh, because I am white and these do run very warm a little bit dark um, I don't think I'm fair. I would say I'm light, but the fair is still a little bit too warm and too dark for me But I'm gonna use it anyways because you know, I like to be bronzy and everything But if you want like a shade that actually matches in your fair, I don't know that this will work for you All right, so I haven't used this. I mean I have used this but I used honestly a very little amount I barely had like any makeup on. I was just kind of seeing what it looked like. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put her on. I'm gonna use the brush that it came with, a double-ended brush. I'm gonna use the big side, see how it blends, see how it works. Um, I wish the brush was a little more um, flexible. Actually, I like the shade. I'm not mad at it. Okay, wait. Oh, bitch, that looks good. Oh, shit. Okay, I mean, come on, cheekbones. Wow. She's sister snatched. <laughs> just been hearing so much about that, so I've just been saying that a lot. Sister everything. I'm sure y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the brush is okay. It's not my favorite. Like I said, I like something a little bit more flexible. I feel like this is just gonna lift up my foundation if I like drag. So that's why I'm like patting it out. But let me show you guys what brush I like to use. Normally I use a brush like this. This is the It Cosmetics brush. I've used it so much that it's worn off. I don't know what brush it is. Um, but this one's more flexible. It blends a little bit, probably a little bit better. And I'm there's no risk of like taking off your foundation with this. So I'm actually just gonna use this one now. Damn, that really makes me like look a lot darker. So as you can see, it definitely contrasts with my under eye because it is a little dark. So when that happens, if that ever happens and my contour is too dark, either I'll lighten my contour up or if I want to stay bronze, like I usually do that. I'll just take a little bit, whatever left over my brush. I'm not going to add any product to this. I'm just going to lightly dust it across like the highlight areas that need to be toned down a little bit. It'll make it look blended a lot more. Make it go. Now I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for my nose. This one is also by Air Cosmetics, but this one's newer, so I can read it to you guys. This is the Airbrush, cr Airbrush Airbrush Blending Crease number 105. It looks like just like a fluffy blending brush. I like to use those for my contour on my nose. All right, now we're going to set the face. Um, I'm going to just use the MAC powder, um, the Patrick's powder by MAC and a beauty blender. Um, and I'm just going to push that all over my skin, all over my face to set everything. And get the lines out of under my eyes first. And then I like to just dip it in with the beauty blender and just set. So I don't forget it. I love setting my face with powder because it makes everything look so smooth. It fills in like any lines that you have, any pores, especially this powder. This powder does a really good job of doing that. It's like one of my favorite face powders I've ever used. So now I'm going to move on to blush. Um, for blush, I'm going to use the Deck of Scarlet edition number 13 palette. And as some, as some of you may know that um, I am the artist in chief for this palette, um, so if you guys want to know more about this palette, I have an in-depth video, my last video that I uploaded. Um, you guys can um, go to that video and it'll give you a full demo, full rundown and tutorial of this palette. So 
For now, I'm just gonna go ahead with the blush um, Candy Blue. I'm gonna put that on my cheek. So I'm gonna tap into that, tap off my brush a little bit, and just pop it right on to the cheeks. I love this color because this is so good for so many skin tones, like I've said before. You can also use this on the eyes, eyeshadow, anything you would like, honestly. It's such a pretty shade. And honestly, a little bit goes a long way. So this blush will literally last you so long. For highlighter, I'm also going to use the Number Edition 13 palette. I'm going to mix Firefly and Cashmere together. So these definitely are multi-use, as like I said before. Um, you can use the eyeshadow as a highlighter. This is a really pretty highlighter for someone who is fair. Um, so I'm going to mix these two together to get my like perfect shade. Oh, so pretty. The two together are so gorgeous. I freaking love it. And you can keep packing it on and it's not gonna have a cast on you, by the way, if you really like a lot of highlighter. All right, brows are done. Brows are snatched. <laughs> I love the way I did them today. Um, anyways, so we're going to play with a little bit of glitter today. I just got a bunch of the heavy metal glitter from Urban Decay that they just launched um, with the Pride campaign and everything. So we're going to be using those. I will get to those in a little bit. For now, I'm just going to use this gel liner by Morphe. Um, and by the way, if you guys purchase any Morphe products, you guys can use code WEST to save money. So I'm just gonna take the Jet Black gel liner and just a really tiny brush. And I'm going to put them on my eyelids. And I'm going to create a black smoky eye and I'm going to put glitter on top of it. So for black smoky eyes, I like to use a gel for the base because it's super black. Um, so I like to create just like a rough shape around the eyes and then I will go in after I have the shape down and kind of blend it out. I've actually never used this gel liner from Morphe before and I really like it so far. Now I'm going to take another brush, a clean brush, and I'm going to just blend out the edges a little bit very carefully. You don't want this to get too crazy too fast. And you kind of want to work a little fast before it does dry because then it's going to be harder to blend. All right, so now we have a rough blend. I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow. I'm a black eyeshadow. I'm going to set this and I'm also going to blend a little bit more. And I'm going to go with a black eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and set the black that I have down. This will help from any creasing and it'll help it last a lot longer. I'm going to take a really small pencil brush to do so because I'm also going to use this to blend the edges. So if you guys already have your face makeup done and you're using a black eyeshadow, I recommend taking a bunch of loose powder and just setting right underneath. Not really setting, but packing it underneath so that if you have any fallout, you can just dust it away. It'll definitely save your foundation and you a lot of headache. Okay, so once I blended out the black just a little bit, you don't want to go too much. I'm going to take the blue from the number 13 edition palette that I was using earlier, and I'm going to pack that on the outside and kind of blend the black out a little bit. Jet. I ended up using the Mini MUA palette for um, some of the blue. I went in with this one, it's a little bit deeper. Um, I went with that up against the black. And then on the edges, um, I went in with the deck of Scarlet and kind of blended that blue out a little bit. And here's what we have. We have a nice gradient. And now I'm just going to do the lower lash line. Basically the same thing. I'm gonna put black underneath and then kind of blow that out with the blue. So I'm gonna take the black gel again, run that underneath my lower lash line, and I'm gonna put it in my waterline. And I'm gonna make sure that I don't bring this down too far. Um, you definitely wanna keep this really close to the lash line. All right, now we're gonna be a little bit extra and add some glitter onto the eye as well. So I'm going to take the Heavy Metal Liner by Urban Decay, it's in gunmetal, and I'm going to do a really thick, I think I'm gonna do thick, we'll see. But I'm going to do a liner, I'm not gonna wing it out, I'm just going to do just a line. 
All right, so there's the liner. Pretty simple. Adds a little bit more of a glitter. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye, and then we will also do the lip, which I'm really excited about. Got something fun for that. All right, there's one last thing I want to do with the eyes before they are completely finished. I'm gonna take the heavy metal glitter. Um, this is in Disco Daydream. This is the squeeze one. And I'm going to pop a little bit of this just into the inner corner. So for lipstick, I'm going to use the shade Perversion and this is by Urban Decay as well. This is just a comfort matte lipstick. Um, this is black. I'm going to go ahead and use this as a base and then I'm going to put this glitter over top of it. This is the blue glitter. Um, this is Soul Love. Wow, that's, that's very black. It's very pigmented. All right, so now the fun part comes where we're gonna put the glitter on the lips. I'm just gonna use a brush to apply the glitter to my lips. Just gonna kind of like glop it out. Just kind of like that. Ooh. Here is the end of the video and the finished look. These lips are crazy. <laughs> But they look so freaking cool, don't they, guys? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys definitely have to try this. Glitter lips are amazing. Um, honestly, I would maybe go a little bit lighter on the eyes if you're going to do glitter lips like this. Um, but you know what? I don't care. All out. Going all out. It's a little dramatic, a little like almost goth, but that's okay. I'm gonna get some cool photos with this and yeah, it'll be awesome. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just playing with a little bit of new makeup. Um, if you guys, this is still available. If you guys want to check this out, if you guys want to purchase this, I will have links down below and everything. Um, and I'll also link down below the video of me reviewing and going over the entire palette and everything. So yes, such a good palette, very versatile. Um, and yeah, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching.